Hi, my name is Johan and I wanted to make this video on snapping in Modo uh, because I am new to Modo, coming over from Maya uh, and I ran into some problems with the, the snapping tools in Modo. And uh, I've been told to use, uh, okay, you want to snap something, then you need to use third-party scripts um, or you have to build your own custom tools in Modo. I don't want to install scripts, I don't want to build my own tools, I just want to use the tools out of the box and I just want to snap stuff. So I tried, uh, with that in mind, I tried to figure out how they work and I became almost uh, obsessed with it for, for a short while. And I came across a trick uh, or something that you need to know uh, in how they work which will make life a lot easier for you and it's really strange because this has not been explained in the manual and it's not been explained in any of the snapping tutorials on the Luxology site it has not even been uh, explained in uh, the architectural tutorial that uh, that they sell on their site and I've also seen a lot of other tutorials uh, from, for example, digital tutors and uh, some other people. And um, the trick has never been explained, as far as I know. So I wanted to make this video, explain it, and go through some other things that I found that could, could be useful to you um, uh, with regards to snapping. Alright, so snapping tools can be found here in Moto. Uh, this will uh, is useful when you're building your own tool pipe. Uh, there's also a snapping alternative here. It's called uh, Element Snap, and it has a shortcut key. And there's also a Snaps and Position menu uh, with Drag Snap, Drag Snap, Rigid, and uh, some other uh, snapping tools uh, that are related to rotation. There's also uh, something called uh, absolute scaling, which can be used for snapping as well. First off, we're going to take a look at one of the most common, uh, commonly used snapping tools, which is the drag snap rigid found on the snaps and position menu. And um, it's I'm going to explain it in quite a bit more depth than what you might have seen in other tutorials. So. Um, some of you might be bored by that, but um, it might be some useful info for you because it might uh, give you some uh, intel on uh, why the tool does not work the way you want it to uh, sometimes. So um, let's create two, um, two boxes. And move this one a bit like this. Now I have two cubes and they are in separate meshes. And to use drag snap rigid, um, for example, take this cube here, which is now not aligned to this one. We can use drag snap rigid and select some some component or element on um, on this one that we want to snap. And we can snap it the other one. It's pretty easy stuff. I think you all got that one working. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, in Modo when you have nothing selected, everything is selected or everything in the same mesh that you're in. So right now I have everything in this mesh selected. But it's also possible to select, for example, a polygon and now only that will be moved by the dry snap rigid. So now I'm taking the same, same one, same vertex. I'm snapping it, but I'm not moving the whole object. I'm just move, snapping the selection. Okay, so now I have explained how to use the snap using hauling which is pretty self-explanatory and uh, now we're going to use the handles instead or the snap in a single dimension or axis 
So what I want to do now is I want to take this and just mess it up a bit. So now I have this vertex selected and I want to snap it back to this or to this in just my Z, in just my C axis here. So I, I have this selected, which means that um, this is the only thing that's going to move when I snap. And now I have to select it to indicate that this is uh, where I'm snapping from. And here's a problem that a lot of you probably have had. It snaps to absolutely nothing. So how can I get this to work? Well, let's say I want to snap to this vertex here. What I have to do is I have to rotate my camera around so that I'm above what I want to snap to. Suddenly the snap is taken. What if I want to snap... Um, I have to actually, in order to illustrate this, move this um, a bit back like that. Select this vertex again. What if I want to take this vertex and snap it, align it to this one? It's not uh, actually snapping now. So what I have to do in order to get this to work, and this is uh, the trick that I, I spoke about earlier, you have to rotate the camera up to the side, and it will snap the things that are on the, on the side. So now it works. And now it's no longer snapping to things underneath it, or above it. So in order to get that to work, I will have to rotate my camera around and snap it. So that's the trick. So you can end up in a situation where it actually snaps to nothing. Let's see if we can get it to snap to nothing. It seems to be in a very snappy mode. Okay, there you go. Now we're in a situation where it doesn't want to snap to anything. So what if I don't want to change my camera at all? And there's another trick that you can do, you can zoom out. And obviously this only works if you have um, not too much geometry in your scene, because it would get really messy. But now it snaps to, to everything. So there's some kind of threshold here. Uh, that has not been described in the manual that um, you must know about. You can circumvent this by using by having the camera in the correct position. I just want to show you that um, um, it maintains the relative uh, positions when you snap. So here I have two vertices sitting on a different z-axis, uh, slightly different z-axis, and I want to snap them we align them to this vertex here in Z only. And this uh, works quite well, so they are uh, their positions are maintained. You might also be in a situation where you don't want to uh, maintain a position. You might you have a, a row of vertices that you want to that all align to this vertex. This is not possible with model snapping tools, but uh, you can use the scale tool to, um, to scale them out. So if you disable negative scale on the scale tool, and you scale so they are at the same uh, Z position, and then you can use snap all of them. Position. So that's a little workaround for that.